waiting for it to quit raining so I can get out and start the day. Be about an hour behind. But anyway, I figured now might be a good time to talk about the elephant in the truck. As you can see, I purchased a uh, Commercial 30 the other day used from my uh, equipment dealer. Pretty good price. Um, this will be my fourth Xmark 30 that I've owned in my life and my fifth 30 inch overall. I did have one uh, Toro Turfmaster. Um, this is an awesome mower and uh, unfortunately uh, for me, I got away from them after my uh, injury. After I got hurt, when I got hurt, I uh, put the 30s down because basically at the time I was running only 30s. I had the zero turn and the 30 inch in there and I wasn't really running 21s and I definitely wasn't considering, you know, battery powered tools at all. But um, when I got hurt, there was a couple of months span where I couldn't do any push mowing. I, you know, I didn't do any, I didn't use the 30s or the 21s at all. I, uh, when I had a guy helping me, he would use a 21 or a 30, you know, usually a 21 because most of the guys that I found, you know, they preferred a 21. That's what they were used to. So <clears throat> what happened was these, uh, I had these two 30s. Well, I'll start at the beginning. I, I bought a 30 about uh, nine years ago. It was the first 30 I bought. Um, it had the Kawasaki engine, and it had the old-style transmission, which these newer ones have an upgraded transmission. They're about double the size of the original ones. Um, but the old one had the old-style transmission. It was a good mower. It was a really good mower. Uh, you know, I never had any issues with it other than I had to replace... Well, I'll take that back. I did end up replacing the engine on that mower about five years after after I bought it but I worked that thing to death it was it was a <clears throat> it was a beast of a mower but I um other than that I didn't have any problems with it other than the usual things that thir that these 30 inches have which I'll, I will do a review on this mower at some point and go into some of the issues because there are some there are a few design issues and there are a few you know recurring problems that people complain about on them but I had that 30 and then I was given a uh, Turfmaster, a Toro Turfmaster, which is virtually the same exact mower. There's one or two differences, but this uh, Turfmaster was given to me. It had the old style single handle lever control instead of the two handle like the X Mark does. But those mowers I ran till about 2020 and uh, then I sold, I got rid of them both. I sold both of them because uh, Xmark and Toro both came out with a new uh, engine on those on that 30. They came out with the Kohler series of engine, the Command Pro 200 and the 224, which are awesome engines, great torque, cut through thick grass. I mean, I never had a single issue with those, with those mowers when I was using them. Now, I say when I was using them because what happened was I got hurt and I stopped using these mowers and they set for probably, oh, like G May through like November. They set in my shop, not being used. And post-op, I was not in a position where I was going to be push mowing with these heavy mowers. So at that point, neither one of them would start. One of them had a broken cable somehow. The other one, um, you know, it had some issues. I w couldn't get it running. One of them I could get to start, but it wouldn't stay running. The other one wouldn't, it wouldn't start at all. Long story short, I said to myself, I'm, I'm done with the 30 inch mower. I'm not gonna use one of these ever again. So I sold off both of my Kohler 30s. They were the same identical mower, same model and everything, same engine. I got rid of them both. I had, uh, at that point I'd already sold the other, um, the original 30 that I bought as well as the, the Turf Master that I was given. I sold both of those, so I had those four were all gone, you know, let them go. Well, flash forward to now, and one of the issues I'm running into is the issue of time. I'm, I'm running low on time, you know, with everything going on. I can't just be out till dark working, you know. I got to be home. I really need to be home at a certain time for, to wake, make my schedule, my current schedule work. 
And the way I have solved this, or the way I'm attempting to solve this, rather than relying solely on this 21, is I've got this 30 inch now to help me out with my finish yards that have backyards that I can't get into, which there aren't that many, but they're enough to where it will save me probably an hour of time during the day, which is pretty significant at this point. It will also save me in uh, during my when I'm doing my little subdivision over there that takes, you know, if it can save me 20 or 30 minutes doing that subdivision, huh, it'll be worth it, well worth it. So, um, what else was I going to touch on? Yeah, I know, you know, I've been really high on this battery mower, and it's a great mower, but one of the biggest flaws on this mower that's become apparent with my new schedule is the self-propel on this mower is just too damn slow. It runs about 2.6 miles an hour on top speed, which is about equal to the um, old-timey Toro Pro lines, you know, with the three-speed transmission that you had a selector on the on by the wheels. You had a selector, you know, to adjust. It's about equal to number two on that, which eh, it's adequate sometimes, but the problem is... I need it to be faster. I need it to be a lot faster. I'm used to, you know, four to four to four point one miles an hour walking speed, you know, and I'm I can push this I can push this mower faster than it goes. And as light as it is, you know, that's sometimes that's okay to do, but the longer in the day I'm going, I don't I don't really want to push this mower. I don't want to push anything. I just want it to go. I just want it to pull me along and get it done. And the one thing about this mower that's not good is that self propel is just too slow. And especially as the battery drains, I've mentioned before, as the battery drains in this, it doesn't have that max out technology. So as this battery drains out, that self propel, that self propel slows to a crawl. I mean, it's like, you'd be lucky if that thing's pulling one miles an hour by the time, by the time it's done, by the time that battery runs down. So you know, it still has its place, and I'm still going to carry it on the truck because there's still some areas where it's a lot easier to get into than a 30 is. But realistically speaking, this 30 is going to be now the new finish mower for a while. So we're going to see how it does. It's still, it's a bit of a learning curve again, jump, getting used to a 21 and a battery mower especially, but then get, jumping into a 30 that weighs, you know, this 30 weighs 100 and... 180 pounds versus 120 pounds for a push mower gas powered and this mower weighs about 65 pounds so you know it's a lot to get used to but that's what we're doing just a quick little update here while i'm waiting for this damn rain to stop it's been raining non-stop for seems like two or three weeks now and uh, this morning it was clear it was clear up until about you know 10 till 7 and now here it is damn near almost 8 o'clock and I'm still stuck in the shop waiting to get out not that I couldn't work in this but it's just not ideal I don't like to I'd rather it be not raining so anyway that's where I'm at I'll do a detailed review on that mower and that machine and I'll talk about the pros of it and the cons because there are some negatives about that mower i've i've had four of them now that now go now this is the fifth one i've owned so i know a good deal about them i know a good deal about the problems and about you know some possible solutions and you know just in general information about them and also you know talking about there's some other 30s on the market that i know a little bit about so kind of go over that in a future video so anyway hope everybody else is staying dry and uh, i'm gonna try to get out here and be productive as soon as this rain stops. So best of luck and take care.